got the inlet manifold gaskets, four of them, one for each side. And these little bolts here are the key piece to the uh, swirl flap delete that we're going to do. So we'll go over to the car and just have a quick look at what's going on and we'll uh, try and document the process as we do it so it's a bit more understandable. But these here are your swirl flap motors, actuators, whatever you want to call them. These engines are not as common as like say a, a BMW or a PPD 170 which are known to swallow them, kill the engine, turbo, everything basically injectors, everything's dead. But the main issue that these have which causes tons of DPF problems as well, this little lever here gets a load of play in it and when that stops moving properly the actuator start, starts registering a fault which then puts the emissions light on which then means the DPF's not going to regenerate causes you lots of problems so when we're pushing big power which we're going to be on this it's always good insurance for us to get rid of these swirl flaps because all these are for is emissions purposes at real low rpm they'll just shut that closes off one half of the uh, inlet ports opening up the um, the longer more curved swirl ports which will improve the, the burn at low rpm low exhaust uh, it, low charge flow speeds so get rid of them you'll not cause us any trouble you'll not cause any lights on the dash you'll not cause any uh, big problems because we'll map around that but it's the added insurance that we're not going to swallow a swirl flap which can happen not really seeing too much trouble on these engines from it but i think most people catch it you know, early where there's bmws they just swallow them randomly so we'll uh, we'll record while we do this make a few notes and we'll try and do a bit of a guide but it's fairly self-explanatory you've got to take a few parts off get to them pull them out stick a bolt in the end and uh, put new gaskets in so we'll do all that and uh, get back when it's done